welcome to this class i hope you are all studying well for the exam now in this session we will see some questions from unit 1 to 5 the question in the first unit is in the reverse phase chromatography the stationary phase is made up of reverse phase chromatography is also an adsorption chromatography the reverse phase means during the elution the more polar substance will be eluted first in the reverse phase chromatography and the non polar substance non more non polar substance will be eluted in the end but in the normal phase chromatography the more polar substance the more polar substance will be eluted in the last but the non polar substance will be eluted in the first so so this is the basis for the reverse phase chromatography but in the stationary phase and the mobile phase of the reverse phase chromatography are stationary phase is made up of a non polar substance but in the mobile phase is polar substance so this is the for a stationary phase of a reverse phase chromatography it's made up of a non polar substance now the next question is in atomic absorption spectroscopy with what material is the cathode in hollow cathode lamp in absorption atomic absorption spectroscopy hcl is used hcl means hollow cathode lamp is used in this the anode is usually made up of a tungsten element but in the cathode we need a element to be investigated it is coated on the cathode the element to be investigated is coated on the cathodes for this option is in the cathode element to be investigated is used but in the anode and tungsten filament is used now let's see the next question the decreasing order of dipole moment of a di of a molecules the three molecules are given here nf3 nh3 and h2o in this uh, nf3 in this nf3 the moment of the two f f2 atoms f atoms are in opposite direction to the other fluorine atoms so the dipole moment of nf3 is the least among the all three but in nh3 the three hydrogens are moving in one direction opposite to the that of the nitrogens so stretching will be in the other direction so nh3 will have the higher dipole moment than the nh nf3 but here in h2o there are two hydrogens are here and oxygen here is more electronegative element so this has the more dipole moment so h2 has more dipole moment than nh3 and nh3 has more dipole moment than nf3 so nf3 has the least dipole moment now we'll see the next question the metal complex that exhibit triplet as well as doublet in 31p nmr spectrum in the nmr spectrum there are four complexes are given here the first complex is meridonium iridium trichloride and pph3 thrice and trans form of iridium cl co pph3 and the facial form facial form of iridium complex of the same complex and the one more complex is iridium pph3 four times plus this is square planar complex this meridonial complex in the meridonial complex but you will see the face uh, facial complex in the facial complex 3 cl3 are in one phase and the pph3 3 pph3 groups are in the other phase so all the 3 pph3 groups will give as a singlet but here in the meridonial form in the among the 3 pph3 groups one pph3 group is in the one phase but the other two pph3 groups are in the other phase so the one pph3 will give you a double edge the other two pph3 groups will give you a triple edge so for this options we will get the meridonial iridium complex will give the a double edge a doublet as well as a triplet here in the transforms all the PPH, two pph3 groups are in the opposite directions they will not give a doublet and triplets but here also these will not they, they are in the same form so they will not give the doublet and triplet i will see the next question the number of spin allowed ligand field transitions for tetrahedral ni2 complex with three a2g ground states here the 
tetrahedral nickel complex the ground state is 3a to g the question they have asked is spin allowed electronic transitions spin allowed ligand field transitions the spin allowed ligand field transitions there are four transitions are here among this three transitions are 3a to g to 3t1 g the p state 3a to g to 3t1 g f and 3a to g to 3t to g are all spin allowed because the spin is not getting changed from the ground state to the excited states but here 3a to g to 1 eg here the spin is getting changed so it is not spin allowed but at the same time all the four transitions are laporte allowed because the g rate to g rate they are not allowed so it should be g rate to un g rate so they are laporte forbidden but they are spin allowed now we'll see the next question the number of microstates for d5 electronic configurations number of microstates for d5 electronic configurations this is the d5 electron this is an easy question in this we, we will know how to calculate the electronic configuration microstates for this electronic configurations here the general formula is there the number of microstates will be n factorial by r factorial n minus r factorial if the d5 electron if r is equal to n d means here the n means the total number of electrons that can be occupied in the orbital the d electron we can can occupy 10 electrons in it and the number of electrons in it is 5 so 10 factorial by 5 factorial 10 minus 5 factorials will give 7 into 6 power 2 so this is the option this is the way we have to calculate it now from this for this options the number of microstates for d5 electronic configuration 7 into 6 power 2 now we'll see the next question the set of allowed electronic transitions here the electronic transitions given for the molecules diatomic molecules so there are five options are given here five transitions are given 4 sigma 2 2 2 pi here among this the allowed electronic transition means the spin should be changed spin should not be if the spin is changing it is not an allowed transition among the five the spin same the spin same transitions are uh, b in the b section sigma to pi spin is same and in the c option one to one sigma is getting spin is not changed delta to delta it is allowed transition two pi to two pi it is also allowed transition but here uh, 2 2 3 the spin is not spin is changed so it is not an allowed transition so b is also allowed transition c is allowed transition and d is allowed transitions so b c d are allowed transitions even at the same time sigma to pi is allowed sigma to pi is allowed delta to delta is allowed pi to pi is allowed but sigma to delta is not allowed transition this is not allowed on either case so among the three b c d or allow transitions now we'll see the next question the next question is the correct structure of p4s3 this is the general structure of p4s3 here the structure of p4s3 is like this as a triangular shape of three phosphorus atoms are here down and the one more phosphorus is the cap so there are three psp bridges are there psp bridges three psp bridges are there and at the same time there are three pp bonds are there sometimes the questions are also asked based on the number of bonds like psp bonds there are three psp bonds and three pp bonds the pp bonds are three and psp bonds are three so these are the things we have seen today i hope you are all studying well in the next session we will see some other Questions from unit number 7. Thank you.